Excellent. All right. So, hey, a very warm welcome, everybody. And thank you so much for joining for the second, uh, uh, I think it's the second, I think it's the second adventurous session when it comes to e-awards. We are so happy to welcome everybody from British Union Conference, including Scotland, Wales, Ireland, Northern Ireland. Uh, we have uh, South and England, Southern Conference and Northern Conference. We are so glad you cho chose to be with us this Sabbath here with that. Also, uh, a very warm welcome to uh, people who are joining us from all around. We have people from China, we have people from the UAE, uh, from Zimbabwe, from South Africa. We have people from beautiful uh, Caribbean islands, which I cannot all remember because my geography doesn't work very well. We have Seychelles, I remember that. We have um, many other places, <coughs> and I cannot remember more than that. Today we have two uh, presenters for you. Uh, you can choose to stay during full section uh, section of this uh, program or you can actually choose to uh, uh, uh any of this uh, uh, that you want uh, first one is actually um we have a health specialist by faith jordan after that we have uh, uh, fruit of the spirit uh, by uh, roxana stan which is uh, our presenter from ireland and faith uh, is from north england conference so once again, a very well welcome uh, for everybody who joined. Uh, we will be using also a little bit of the chat room in case you're on Zoom or Facebook Live. Uh, please use comment section where we can actually <coughs> answer your questions. Also, uh, for uh, Zoom guys, at the bottom of Zoom, there is a chat box and you just click on that and we'll be trying to answer everything uh, that it comes there. Now, I just wanna uh, see, is it Roxana here? And is it... Uh, 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 Faye Jordan here, if it's possible, unmute your microphones and say hello to everybody. <coughs> hello, everybody. No, 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 we don't want Hello, that. everybody. <laughs> hello, hello. And just give me a second. Once again, I will just mute you and then unmute. Uh, um, Roxana, unmute your microphone again, sorry. Hello, everybody. Roxana, good to have you here with us. Uh, is it is it Faith Jordan here with us as well? Can you please unmute your microphone? Hi, everyone. That is great. So this is our first presenter. And Roxana, who said hello to us, she will now start sharing her screen because we want to start this e on a program properly. So Roxana, uh, please take us to your PowerPoint. Where we are, are we gonna trying. Have... We are trying. We are You're... trying to feel like we are in the church and we want to beat the barrier of the screen. That is right, that's right. And Roxana uh, prepared something for us, which we didn't have pre before. And the moment you will see uh, when, I mean, when a screen comes up, here it is. Roxana, we can see your PowerPoint. We, you just need to go presenter mode and we are there. All right, Roxana, tell us more about this. So welcome everybody to our e-adventurer club meeting. Um, during these times is a privilege that uh, we have the technology that helps us to join together and to worship together and spend the time together. Uh, as I said, we are trying to beat the screen and to try to make all these words and uh, presentations to feel like we are in our real club, okay? Uh, we meet new people, so let's start. Yes, Dan, you understand? Roxana, say something? take us to the. Uh, so, what we're planning to do today is uh, we're gonna actually have the. One, yeah. Tell us, Roxana. Okay, so what we are going to do, we are going to open our club meeting and I will ask the adventurers to pre be, be prepared, all right? So we welcome all our adventurers. We all welcome our little lambs, <coughs> eager beavers, uh, busy bee, sunbeam, builder, and our helping hands. We all come, everybody, they're all part of the Adventurer Club. And now? And now, are you ready for your club meeting? 
I hope you are. We are. Yes. Uh, Dan asked you to have your scarf. Do you have your scarves? Yes, we do. Okay. <coughs> so let's pretend today everybody will see us. We are having a club meeting. We are going to take a picture. So who is going to recognize us if you don't have the scarf? So here we go. I hope you found your scarf and you have it. Yes. And no, what I else don't. do we need? We need something else. Everyone has a Bible. Yes. I hope you all have yes. your Bibles. Okay. And now I am going to ask adventurers to take attention position. Uh, even if we are seated or, I don't know, try to stay in attention position, okay? Ideally, <laughs> we should stand. If you can, and if you wish, you are more than welcome to do so. So Excellent. we are going to start with our adventurer song. Uh, we are going to play the video on the screen and feel free to play on mute, please. <laughs> if you want to sing along, just mute your mic. We don't know if we open the mics for everyone, how it's going to sound. So, we, uh, we are not going to open the mics. Everybody's going to be... We're gonna we, we're gonna not open the ma mics because it will be not possible to sing it. So we will uh, just uh, uh, everybody will be singing in their little place where they are. Yeah, Roxana. Uh, so now we are going to uh, start our meeting with adventurer song. Lead us. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed that and you, everyone sang uh, as loud as they could. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> Roxana, thank you so much for that. This and is... now we are going to continue with Adventurer Pledge. I'm going to say it and please, again, be on mute uh, and repeat, okay? Adventurer Pledge. Because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. And now we are going to continue with Adventurer Law. Mm -hmm. be, be the obedient, be, be pure, obedient. be kind, be, be true, be, be respectful, be attentive, be, be helpful, be cheerful, uh -huh. be thoughtful, be reverent. Be best. Okay? Be did anyone be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful? Be obedient, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be rather. Yeah. Be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. Amen. Be obedient, be pure, be true, be kind, be respectful, be attentive, be helpful, be cheerful, be thoughtful, be reverent. Okay, now we are going to be true. You're saying it wrong. Sorry. Sorry, I was on mute. You couldn't hear me. Thank you, everyone. Now I am going to ask um, an opening prayer. Is it possible to have uh, an adventurer to pray for us? And maybe after that, Pastor Dan? Yes, I can pray. Yes, yes. yes. Okay. Pray, pray so, for us. Okay. Let's have an opening prayer. Our, our Father who art in heaven, our Father who art in heaven, thy, no. please bless us and please give 
us to stand to be Thank you. Oh, we can't hear. All right, I don't know what happened. Amen. Let, amen. amen. Let us pray. Let everybody close their eyes. And uh, and then let's pray together. Uh, dear God, thank you so much for time we can be together. We pray that you bless every single adventurer, every single club, every single parent, guardian. We just ask the God that uh, as you pour Holy Spirit on us, that we can learn a lot about you. We say, dear Jesus, thank you so much for keeping us safe. And we want to pray for those who are sick right now, dear God, that your, play, your hand, of, uh, a hand of healing be upon them. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. 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 <clears throat> so, uh, Roxana, hey, no. Pathfinders, adventurers. Sorry. <laughs> we will, no. we will, we will have Roxana in a few moments again when she so, starts. Uh, yeah, we are having here what's happening next. We have Health Specialist Award starting now, and it's presenting Faith Moyo. And at 3 p.m., we have Fruits of the Spirit with myself. Excellent. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Roxanne, thank you so much for sharing the screen. As you uh, stop sharing the screen and Faith uh, joins, um, we're going to just give them a few moments. Thank you so much for that. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the... This is everybody who is today in the room. Uh, Faith, whenever you're ready. Excellent. Uh, so Faith already started with a homework, which is <laughs> <clears throat> not the easiest. Uh, so uh, Faith, if it's possible, uh, go to your first slide. Very okay. good. And then after that, uh, the, the time is yours. And so just to let you know, all adventurers, uh, if you miss something, don't worry. We have the PowerPoints. Uh, we have all this recorded, so you can rewatch it again. Faith, thank you so much for joining us from Nottingham Conference. We love that you're with us. And please take us forward in Health Specialist. Okay. Thank you, Dion. Good afternoon, adventurers. Just show by waving that you can hear me. Good afternoon, adventurers. Good afternoon. Okay. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. My name is Faith Moyo. Good afternoon. 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 If you can please keep your microphones muted so that we can actually continue. We will not be unmuting the microphones anymore until you uh, until actually we ask you to do so. So if it's possible, just please don't unmute your microphones. Thank you so much. Okay. Right. Uh, I would like to welcome you all to the Health Specialist Award. My name is Faith Moyo from the North England Conference. I'm one of the area coordinators for Area 4 and 7. So before we start, I know we all around the world, we, on, uh, we have this pandemic that is going around. So I've chosen that we do a Health Specialist Award in line with uh, the, our health and what's going around the world. So I hope you're going to enjoy this award as we go on together. And I'll be asking you with a show of hands, if I ask you a question, if you can show me by raising your hands or we can unmute, unmute you so you can say something. So to start off, we're going to read a Bible text. Have you got your Bibles, adventurers? Yes. Have you got your Bibles? Yes. Yes. We're going to be reading from the book of uh, 1 Corinthians. Yes. There we go on the screen. And it says, oh, do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit? Let me read from here because I can't see there. Oh, do you not know that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who is in you, whom you have from God and who, who you are not your own? For you are bought at a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which is God's. So this uh, Bible text is actually telling us that our bodies are God's temple. So because our bodies are God's temple, we need to look after our bodies, right? We need to take care of them. We need to wash them. We need to feed them. We need to make sure that God's temple is well presented by our bodies. So we've got uh, nine requirements. I would ask you, to memorize the verse, if our parents are around, can you please put, note it down for them so they can memorize the verse so you can be able to recite it. So we're going to go to the first requirement. So the first requirement is asking us to describe what is a proper diet.
diet, right? What is a proper diet? So we've got quite a number of um, foods that we can eat in our diet. And a proper diet consists of a variety of different types of food and providing adequate uh, amounts of nutrition necessary for our health. So the first group that I've got here is meat. So we've got uh, different types of meat that provide us with protein, not just meat, but proteins, things that provide us with proteins. That includes beef, chicken, fish, lentils, and I've got, um, I don't have uh, meat with me here, but I've got it on the screen that we can have not just meat. Remember, I said we've got lentils, we've got tofu as well. It provides us with protein. So we need protein in our diet. Then the next group of foods that we need is fruits. I've got two fruits here with me. I've got an apple. I'm sure I've got fruit on my screen. I've got an apple and a banana. These are fruits that we need five a day. So you can choose any five different fruits. We've got oranges, we've got bananas, we've got pears, we've got grapes that we can have in the group of fruits. So you can see my basket all with nice fruits, strawberries, oranges, pears, grapes, and bananas. That is one of our five a days. We can choose any from there for our five a day. Then we've got vegetables, right? With vegetables, I've got sweet potato. I've got a packet of spinach with me. I've got some carrots with me. And I've got some beetroot with me. So these are some of the vegetables that we're supposed to eat and many more. We've got tomatoes, we've got onions. Those are also type of vegetables that contribute to our diet. So we need vegetables. So I said, we need our protein that we get from meat, uh, eggs, uh, lentils, beans. Now we've got our uh, vegetables and I'll go on to, uh, I think I've gone through our fruit. Then we've got our grains. So these are, I've got brown pasta here with me, whole milk grains, we've got bread, we've got potatoes, we've got uh, sweet potatoes again. Here you are, I put it on the wrong one. So all these are part of our grains that we can eat for a healthy diet. Also, we need dairy. With dairy, we can have milk or an alternative. Uh, for those of you who don't drink milk, you can have an alternative that is soya milk or almond milk or rice milk, or you can use water if you don't take any of those. We can, we also got cheese as well on our dairy, but we need to take this in moderation. We shouldn't take too much of these. Right, now that we know what we need for a healthy diet, I want us to see what we don't need, but we can have it in moderation, in very small, small quantities. So I've got, trouble here, chocolate. Not too much of it because it's not good for our health. It's not good for our teeth as well. So these are not, they are okay in small amounts in moderation, but not too much of it because it's not, they're not going to be good for our health. So I've got a diagram here that I would like us to choose, to cross out which ones do we think we can have. So I want you to show me with thumbs up or thumbs down. Thumbs up or thumbs down. Is uh, the burger okay for us to eat? Up, are we allowed to have burgers? Oh, down, yes, no, no to burgers. What about vegetables? Yes, thumbs up for vegetables, well done adventurers. What about chocolates? Yes, thumbs down for chocolates, only in small quantities. What about vegetables? Well done, adventurers. Give me five. Give me five for vegetables. So now you know small quantities of chocolate, small beggars and fries that we buy from um, the chip shop, but we need fruits and vegetables that keep us healthy so we can be able to look after these temples that we have. So our next requirement, we're supposed to explain why our bodies need exercise. Keep us active, exercise. 
Remember, our bodies need exercise to keep our muscles strong. Can I see those strong muscles? Ooh, can I see them strong muscles? Well done, adventurers. I can see those strong muscles. So we need to exercise our bodies to have strong muscles. Exercise also is good to strengthen our hearts because our hearts are a muscle. So we need to exercise and strengthen our heart. We need exercise to improve our lungs. Remember, we breathe in and we breathe out. So we need to exercise so that our lungs can be able to sustain us because we need to be exercising and keep them healthy and active. Exercise is good for our brains. The more we sit there not exercising, we seem to be slowly slow to think. We, we're tired because we're not active. So when we exercise, we keep our brains sharp. Sharp and always attentive. So we need exercise. So I need you to do some of these exercises at home. Obviously, we can't do them here now, but you can do some stretches. You can run around the garden. You can use your skipping rope to keep active. Don't sit in front of the telly all day. If you've got stairs, you can run up and down. Make sure an adult supervises you so that you don't fall, so that we keep our bodies healthy. Right. You see, these ladies are at the gym exercising, trying to look fit so that they keep, keep their temples healthy. You can do some stretches over there. And then the next one, sleep. How many hours do you sleep? I want you to show me by the rays of your fingers. Do you sleep for an hour? No? Two hours? How many hours are we supposed to sleep? Three hours? Twelve. Seven. I can see Galaxy A10 is saying seven. What about Kuzi? How many seven. hours? Seven or eight. Eight. Yes, Mandela, eight. Minimum, minimum of eight hours. So for young children, Ten. nine and a half going on, you are recommended. Seven. To Pardon? Ten. 10, yes, you can sleep for 10 hours. If you can get 10 hours of sleep, that would be great. If I could get 10 hours of sleep, I'll be happy, yes. So we need to Ten. sleep, right? we need to sleep. 13 sleep because hours. We need to relax our bodies. Our bodies need to relax. So when we sleep, sleep helps our bodies to relax and our muscles and our hearts and our breathing. It is believed that during that time when we are sleeping, our bodies tend to repair themselves. Remember, you spend all day, look at how comfortable she is sleeping. We spend all day busy. So our bodies need to recover from the day-to-day -day activities. So don't stay in front of your telly all night because remember, you've got tomorrow, it's another day. So you need to be active. So you need enough sleep. I'll show you somebody who's going to work or to school a bit tired because they didn't have enough sleep. See what happens if you don't get enough sleep. You'll be sleeping at work because you're tired. You're sleeping in school because you're tired. You can't take part in activities with adventurers because you're tired. Your body hasn't repaired itself. So you need time to sleep so your body can repair itself. So a minimum for children of nine and a half hours of sleep. So we need to exercise our bodies. We need to have a healthy diet and we need to sleep adventurous, okay? So, this is interesting. Requirement number five, adventurous, we need fresh air, right? We need fresh air. Why do we need fresh air? So we can breathe properly. Yes, so we can breathe properly. Anybody else, why do you need fresh air? To breathe. To breathe, yes. To breathe. Be strong. To get my health. To refresh in our lungs. To oxygen. To live. To enter our lungs. To refresh in our lungs. To cleanse it. To keep healthy lungs. You know, we need fresh air so we can breathe in. To cleanse your lungs. Are they? So we can breathe. To breathe. It's good for our lungs. It's good for our lungs. Yes, it is good for our lungs. To stay so healthy. We need fresh air for our lungs. We need fresh air. Oh, oh I'm saying what you just. We it's need good fresh for air for our brain as well. So we, when we breathe, let me see you breathe in. It's exercise. Yes, it's exercise for our lungs. Breathe in. And breathe out. 
breathe in and breathe out. So we need fresh air. So we breathe in oxygen. And then when we breathe out, we breathe out carbon dioxide. So when we breathe in in the morning, when you wake up, open your windows, because remember, you've been sleeping all night and you're just breathing in, breathing out. The same air is circulating in, the, in your room. So you need to open your windows in the morning and inhale fresh air. So you breathe in fresh air and breathe out carbon dioxide. That will make you feel fresh. It's good for our lungs as well. It's good for the brain. Fresh air is good for our brain. It's good for our hearts as well. It's good for the whole body. Remember, I told you that our bodies, actually the Bible says our bodies are God's temple. So we need to look after God's temple. It's like you, when you've got your toys, you don't want anybody to destroy them, do you? Do you want anybody to destroy your toys? No, you look after them. So this is God's temple. We need to look after God's temple. So we need fresh air. Then sunlight. Why do we need sunlight? Anybody who can tell me why? Vitamin, 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 Vitamin D. Pardon? Okay. Sunlight contains vitamin D, which helps us to form strong bones. It also helps you to, it also helps you take in certain minerals like calcium and phosphorus. So we need to have strong bones by making sure we get enough sunlight. But remember, in some countries, when you stay too long in the sun, you can get sunburn. So try and cover up so you don't get sunburns. But if you can get as much sunlight as you can, it's good for your bones because we only get we can get vitamin D from some of the foods we eat, but we can get natural and free, free vitamin D from sunlight. So we've gone through the diet, what types of food we need to eat for our bodies to be healthy. We've gone through exercise. We need to exercise our body, hours, hours that we need to sleep. And now we've just been doing uh, fresh air and sunlight. So we're going to go to the next, next requirement, right? Water. Do you like drinking water, adventurers? Yes. 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 Yes, 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 Joy. Not just water, you can even drink milk because it's some part of fluid. You can drink squash juice, but no fizzy, no fizzy drinks because they are not good for you. Drink water, squash, milk, and juices that are not too concentrated. So you need to drink something that is good for health, that is not going to damage your teeth or make you obese. So we need water doesn't have calories, which is good for your health. And water allows our bodies to flush out all the dirty toxins that we have in our bodies. Water regulates our temperature. Remember, our bodies can be too hot or too cold, so water regulates our temperature. Water helps our brains to function. Remember, our bodies consist of more water. So when you, you drink water, it helps our brains, it helps create the saliva. When we're talking, we produce saliva that we can't see going out in the air. So we need to drink water so that we can replace that saliva that is going out. We have water in our eyes. Remember when we cry, we shed out water. So we need to replace that water by drinking some more. It also helps with our, with our tummies so that we don't get constipated. We eat a lot of things. Remember we've been eating 
sweet potatoes, we've been eating carrots, we've been eating beetroot. So all these things get to be mixed together. So when we drink water, water helps the digestion process so that it can easily move around our bodies, right? So we'll move on to dental hygiene. And water is good for you. Yes, water is good for you, right? I'm going to move on to dental hygiene. Okay. Right, I'm going to give you a task now for two minutes. Two minutes, okay? Two minutes. I want you to rush to the bathroom and get your toothbrush. Rush to the bathroom and get your toothbrush. Go and get your toothbrushes. I want to see adventures with your toothbrushes so we can be able to clean our teeth. <clears throat> Here's mine. Yes, you've got yours. Here's mine. Well I done. Mine. Mine. Got mine. Where's yours? I have mine. Here's mine. This is mine. This is mine. I can see mine. I have mine. I have mine. This is mine. Your toothbrush is so. We're going to go through the process of cleaning our teeth. Remember, I said our bodies are God's temple, right? So, these are healthy teeth there. Can you see how nice and clean those teeth are? Let me see your smiles. Let me see those healthy teeth. Yes, I can see beautiful smiles. I can see all those beautiful smiles. Those teeth are so healthy. We don't want to have bad teeth. So, with our toothbrush, we're going to start from the side, right? Let me see, do your, brush your teeth, make sure you get to the back of your mouth, brush your teeth, you come forward. Because remember your toothbrush can only take this two at a time. So we've got to do this twice a day, right? We come to the beautiful smiles, we brush our teeth, we come to the other side, go to the back of your mouth, we start brushing. Cleaning our teeth, we come forward. Well done, adventurers. You're doing well. Then remember, there's an important piece in our mouth that we need to clean. Because it also keeps all those substances in our, in our mouth. That's the tongue. Your tongue. So you need to clean your tongue. Make sure you brush your tongue. So what are we using to brush our teeth with? We've got the toothbrush. Of course, I've got the empty one, and we've got our toothpaste, right? So you open your toothpaste and make sure you put enough amount on your toothbrush so you can be able to clean your teeth, right? Then you can start brushing, okay? So after brushing, what do we do when we finish brushing our teeth? Do we rinse our mouth with water? Are we supposed to rinse our mouth with water when we finish brushing? Finish brushing my teeth. Do I take a glass of water and spit it out? No, Pastor Dion, you don't do that. <laughs> you spit out and you don't rinse your mouth. Okay? You just spit it out and you don't rinse your mouth. Some of you are sitting there saying, mm, how can we do that? Why should we keep that in our mouth? Yes, you've got to keep it in your mouth because when you rinse out your mouth and you spit out, you're spitting out that fluoride that is supposed to keep your teeth strong. So because remember, you've only brushed your teeth for only two minutes, right? You've only brushed your teeth for only two minutes. So when you, you spit out and you rinse your mouth, you are actually taking out that chloride, that Fluoride, that is supposed, it's not chloride, sorry, it's fluoride. That is supposed to keep our teeth strong. So you need, you don't have to spit it out. You've got to stay with it in your mouth. I'm sure some of you are saying, mm, how am I going to taste food? It does taste okay. Give it time to settle. And then you can have water to drink. Maybe after half an hour or so, you can have water to drink. So it keeps your teeth strong. Right. Some people are asking, can we use these toothbrushes, the electric ones? Yes. 
we can. The most important thing that we're supposed to put it in our mind when we're brushing our teeth is the toothpaste. It's supposed to have fluoride because some of these toothpaste they don't have, so they won't do any good for our teeth. So this is what happens if we don't care of our teeth. See what happens? Oh, I'll take it off. We don't want to have those bad teeth. We want to stay with the healthy smiles, right? Do you want to go to the dentist? I'm scared of the dentist. I don't want to visit them. So if you don't brush your teeth, you're going to have, end up having that. That's the reason why if you don't brush your teeth, because the sugar stays on your teeth. And when the sugar stays in your teeth, it forms acid. So the acid <laughs> hits your teeth and you end up going to the dentist. So we need these smiles. Okay? Remember, we said we are God's temple. So we need to keep these temples clean with nice smiles. You don't want to be visiting the dentist, do we? No. So adventurers, before we go to the last slide, I want you to tell me some of the things that are harmful to our bodies. Have you got papers that you can write to me on a piece of paper that you can write what you think is harmful to your bodies? Just write it on a piece of paper, parents, guardians, carers, can you help adventurers just to write it on a piece of paper? What you think is harmful to your bodies. Also, for everybody who would like to make a comment as well, you, you can do that in the chat room. So if you go at the bottom of the Zoom, there is a chat button. You can click on that and write it down there. Or if you're on a Facebook Live, just put it in the comments and I will feed this information to Faith. Uh, so Faith will be able to respond to you. Also, if you have any questions, make sure you put it in the chat and we will ask Faith to respond to that. But for now, if you don't want to do that, please write it on a piece of paper and then we, you can lift it up in front of your camera and we will read it. <clears throat> uh, somebody says uh, something that is harmful for you is sweets, burgers, pizza, hot dogs, chocolate. Yes. Uh, somebody said uh, sugar, fizzy drink. Somebody mentioned pork, junk food. Uh, somebody said it's harmful for you to swallowing toothpaste. Uh, uh, smoking, drugs and alcohol is harmful for your body. Uh, a lot of people are saying the sugar is number one harmful thing. Uh, somebody says the toothpaste is harmful for your, your body. Uh, I don't know how to respond to that one. Okay, that is coming from Zoom. Okay, let me just see on a Facebook face. So you have a look as well on a Facebook what people are saying. <coughs> is Besides very... sweets, do we have anything else? Uh, it says too much sugar. Well, uh, somebody mentioned alcohol, uh, drugs, um, uh, decaying food, alcohol, somebody is saying. Uh, somebody is saying, obviously, eating too much. Somebody is saying, the harmful thing to your body is not being very smart. Uh, I, I don't want to use the word. Um, uh, somebody said biscuits can be very harm. <laughs> but mainly, it goes with the junk food. Uh, somebody even says overworking can be harmful for your body. Uh, and But a lot of uh, is coming to the sugar. I would say that 80% of the comments are sugar. Okay. 80% are saying it's sugar. Uh, somebody I've just put it, I, I do apologize. Somebody just put it, it says uh, potatoes are, are wrong for you, but not good for your body. I would like to disagree with that myself. Potatoes are really good for you, being my favorite food. Okay. In moderation. Okay. Okay. Right. I've got three things that are harmful to our bodies that I, I didn't add at the top of my list, but that we need to discuss as adventurers. Because we grow, we're growing up, we're not going to stay as adventurers forever. So I've put three things that are harmful of, of, to our bodies, that they can actually destroy your bodies. Remember, we've given an instruction from the Bible that our bodies are God's temple. So we do not want to destroy God's temple. So, right. I've got three things here. I've got alcohol, I've got cigarettes, and I've got cocaine. These three things are harmful to our bodies, right? They destroy a healthy liver. Can you see? Our livers are up there, just below our rib cage, we've got the liver. So when we drink uh, alcohol, it destroys our liver, 
it actually alcohol actually shrinks our brain can you see alcohol shrinks our brain as well so when you drink too much alcohol your brain has got cells some of those cells get destroyed by the alcohol and they cannot be repaired so when they get destroyed they are destroyed permanently they cannot get replaced so you need to be careful we don't take alcohol because it shrinks our brain it damages your liver that's a healthy liver down there and this is a damaged liver so if you have your liver damaged it's not good for your health because your liver is there to prevent um, harmful substances in your body so if your liver is damaged then it's not good so you're not supposed to be drinking alcohol alcohol as well it damages your lungs where are the lungs no sorry i'm looking for my lungs oh, i've got my lungs with me but i'm looking for them in there anyway alcohol damages your lungs people who drink alcohol frequently have a hard time fighting off bacteria and viruses so alcohol uh, alcohol actually destroys your lungs and you have a hard time fighting bacteria and viruses remember there is a virus going around in the world so if you're drinking too much you dis, you dis, your body you're destroying your lungs so your body cannot be able to fight the, these viruses that are going around so we need to stay away from alcohol then we've got cocaine cocaine actually damages the whole body when you take cocaine you're actually damaging your whole body your liver your heart your brain you cannot have good judgment when you're under the influence of cocaine you lose your sense of smell when you take cocaine it damages again your lungs it damages your kidneys and it's risk your central nervous system i know it's quite a big word for adventurers well you have to know it damages your central nervous system and it damages the whole of your body Remember, we don't want to damage these temples adventures. We need to keep them healthy. And then the last one that I have, you see, this is a damaged kidney. So this is a healthy brain. This is part of the brain that has been damaged by taking alcohol, taking cocaine. Right, cigarettes. Can you see how those toes are nice toes? Can I see your fingers, adventurers? Can I see your nice little fingers? right when you start smoking it damages your toes it damages your fingers have you seen people with uh, damaged fingers yellow fingers some tend to turn brown because of smoking remember they're always you see where is my slide with damaged uh, you see damaged fingers so when you continue smoking you're damaging your fingers so we don't want damaged fingers we need these healthy small fingers that you have keep them healthy keep them strong keep them clean as well so we don't want them to be damaged by smoke see all these healthy fingers right smoking damages your teeth have you seen people with brown teeth some of those teeth are okay fine in some other parts they're damaged by water but smoking does damage your teeth i know this picture doesn't look nice and i don't think you want to continue seeing it because smoking also damages your teeth and it aids in tooth decay so you, you have to stay away from smoking because it damages your teeth okay adventurers now that we've gone through all the slides that we've been through uh, we know what is not good for our bodies and what is good for our bodies remember i said at the beginning our bodies are god's temple so we need to look after our bodies well so I'm just going to run through of what I've discussed with you uh, this afternoon. I've discussed the proper diet that we need to have a proper diet that will consist of fruit and vegetables, grains, which are whole grains, uh, brown pasta, brown rice, brown bread, protein. We need beans, fish, eggs, soya products, and then we need dairy, milk, soya milk, rice milk. That is, you, with milk, it's up to what is good for you. And then I've, I've explained why our bodies need exercise so that we have a strong, um, strong muscle and uh, exercise strengthens our hearts. We need to sleep at least for children, a minimum, of, a minimum of nine and a half hours or more. And then we need fresh air so that when we breathe in, we breathe in oxygen, we breathe out carbon dioxide to keep our brains healthy, our lungs healthy, our hearts healthy. We need vitamin, vitamin D, so that we have strong bones, 
so that we don't easily fall and break. So we can get vitamin D from sunlight and from some foods like liver, we can get vitamin D. And then I've explained why we need water because our bodies consist of more water. We need to be hydrated. Water is good to flush out toxins from our body. It's good to regulate temperature. It's good for our saliva and for our brain. And uh, we've demonstrated uh, the good dental health care. We're supposed to brush our teeth for at least two minutes, twice a day. Most important with brushing our teeth before we go to bed, we need to brush our teeth. Remember, you spend all day eating. Eating all sweets, chocolates, all those foods that we're not supposed to eat. So when we go to bed, we need to brush our teeth. We need to brush our teeth so that we get rid of those acids that will end up damaging our teeth. And I said the toothbrushes, whether it's this one or the electric toothbrush, they are all okay as long as our toothpaste has got fluoride in it, okay? And then I've said the three harmful substances, which there are more than three harmful substances, but I've just chosen the three, which is alcohol, cocaine, and cigarettes. They actually damage all, our whole body. Our whole body gets damaged. So I've got a little bit of homework with you that I need you to do with parents at home, parents, guardians, carers, you can help our sisters, you can help your siblings. I need you to take pictures of you doing at least, at least 10 different exercises. Take those pictures while they're doing the exercise. You can either skip, you can either jog on the spot, you can either do push-ups, you can either do sit-ups, all different types of exercises. I want you to do 10 different exercises. Take pictures, make sure you attach them to your workbook so that you can get your award. Okay, adventurers. But before I go, I want to say this to you. Remember to stay indoors. Remember to wash your hands before you eat. Before you eat, wash your hands. Make sure your hands are clean because there is a virus going around. Make sure you wash your hands. Stay indoors. Obviously, in the UK, you've been told to exercise, but make sure you stay in and don't, don't go outside because there's a serious virus that is going around. And I would love to see all of you adventurers in the next temporary, in the next visit to Africa, in the next whatever, because I need you to be healthy, okay? Over Thank to you, Dion. Thank you, thank you. Um, <clears throat> this is the end of the session of the health specialist for adventure, adventurers. We just wanna say thank you, Faye, for the beautiful presentation. If you're able to stop sharing your screen, and then we will go into the gallery view so people can see each other. So let me just give you a couple of information which you need to know. Uh, we provide a, a worksheets for everybody. So in that case, uh, you will be able to uh, just uh, go to the link, which I'm just posting right now in the Zoom room. At the same time, this is being done for the uh, Facebook. So if you go to the Facebook live chat, you'll be able to see the link there. There is a worksheet <clears throat> which will help you achieve your honor, uh, your award, sorry. Uh, so my friends, that's where you need to go click and make sure you complete it. I don't know how it's done in different unions, uh, but I can talk only about British Union at the moment. In order for you to achieve your award, uh, you need to do a little bit of homework. Uh, Faye, managed, uh, Faye managed to get you as far as we can to achieve this award. So make sure you do the homework, attach everything in your folder, in, in British Union, we have all folders and we just put all the paperwork inside. And then when the class is reset, we hope soon, but we never know, uh, you will take this folder and then your club director uh, with approval of the area coordinator will approve your award. So make sure that you do that because that is the only way in the United Kingdom. I don't know how is it uh, in Ireland. I don't know how is it in other places, uh, but we would love you to achieve it because this is a beautiful award to have as well, not just knowledge, but also on your sash as well. So uh, this is it. This is the end of our first um, uh, uh, first Adventurer Award. And what we're gonna do now is uh, make sure also that uh, you uh, uh, take a break uh, in, you know, uh, you, we have about five minutes uh, for the break. So grab uh, a glass of water, or you, maybe you have to go to toilet or whatever is necessary. So, Faye, thank you so much. What I'm going to do is this, if it's possible for everybody, let's give a clap to Faye, if that's right. Let's give a little clap 
to Faye so that she can uh, hear it as well. So, so, so Faye, thank you, thank you. Uh, let me just give me a sec. Un uh, unmute all. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> That's very good. Uh, thank you. Very good. Uh, uh, Faye, you wanted to say something? Uh, I'd like to say thank you all for listening today and hope to see you next time when I come to, to present. That stay safe, right. stay at home, make sure you look after your, those temples. Thank that you, is true. John.